其实，在网络之前，我从来没有跟英国人交流过。Xu Xing is the living person who has named the most dinosaurs. China is probably one of the best places in the world to go to for dinosaur fossils. For the last 20 or 30 years, they've been digging up tons of new material of some really bizarre and interesting dinosaurs that have had a massive impact on the subject. 这些化石对于我们理解这个地球生命的演化的一些关键的一些节点、一些时间、一些事件，都很重要。所以呢，应该说现在中国呢已经成为了世界古生物学研究的一个，不仅是个热点地区。We really wanted to see two big museums out in Sichuan province, which are famous for their dinosaur fossils. In 1995, Sichuan felt like a very, very long way from home. 第一次见保罗的时候呢，是一个英国的绅士，而且呢，有了英国式的幽默啊，这是我当时的印象。他有在你脑脑袋当中呢，会有这个一个固定的印象。But when you're trapped in the same railway cabin as someone for 36 hours, it's amazing what you find to talk about. It's very clear that this was someone who thought a lot about what they said, who was a very modest individual, and that we would get on really well. Actually, I noticed one thing. Actually, foreigners when traveling, especially Paul, they did some research in China. If I don't remember wrongly, they may have a bit of knowledge about Yuxiang rice, the Gong Bao rice. 这样的菜，而且他对这好像好像我记得好像对宫保鸡丁，还是还是挺挺喜欢吃的。And I used to really quite like kung pao chicken, but after five weeks of eating it, it's actually a meal I cannot eat anymore. By the end of this two-three week period, where we are in each other's company the entire time, this had developed beyond just talking about work to a real friendship. Gave me a lot of information on Chinese dinosaurs that I was able to put into my PhD, and it also set the stage for a longer involvement with China, where I was visiting year on year, again and again, doing work with Xu and other Chinese colleagues. 我想这次旅行呢，应该说呃更加加深了我，或者说坚定了我做这个古生物学的或者做恐龙研究的这样一个决心，而且呢，这个旅行也让我。近距离观察到一个好的学者应该怎么样做研究，应该有什么样的一个这个习惯，我想这些呢对我来说呢也是非常非常重要的。嗯、实际上呢，在这个九五年的时候呢，要跟外边的交流其实是很困难的，这个邮件是很贵的，就是非常舍不得。所以当时跟抛见面的时候呢，那那是很兴奋的，就想了解。国外各种各样的方法、手段，还有包括，也希望他能帮我找一些各种各样的文献。She was really helpful in translating Chinese papers for us. Some of the key papers on Chinese dinosaurs are, unsurprisingly, written in Chinese and they're inaccessible to a lot of non-Chinese readers. 实际上，这个对我们的研究非常重要。现在实际上，这个英文呢已经成了一个科学语言，我们会很快的进行沟通，然后这样才能更有效的这个促进科学的进展。So you have such a big discovery, you are very, very excited. It can be a very exciting thing to find a new type of dinosaur. It's not yet completely built, it's about 15 to 20 meters. It depends on which one is built, some of them are built a little bit, some of them are built a little bit. In general, there are at least 8 to 10 meters. There are different ages. This is a head on the head. This is a head on the head. 当然了，心里我也要稍微打一点鼓，为什么呢？呃，我研究主要方向不是犀角类。后来呢，我想，我不能不想犯个错误，就是万一是搞错了怎么办？你觉得我的这个鉴定对不对？是不是差位龙类 ？So there was a team that was made up of Chinese and UK scientists that got together in order to describe the material, compare it with dinosaurs from all around the world, and then announce it as a new discovery. Ling Wulong is a new sauropod dinosaur, a relative of the more famous Diplodocus, but an unusual one with a relatively short neck 
and also appearing a lot earlier in time than we'd normally expect members of that group. 而且呢,確實確認了他,屬於這類恐龍,而且知道他的發現對於我們理解恐龍在一個關鍵時期的演化是非常重要的。it's actually a real privilege to work with Xu because he has perhaps been the most important person in framing the whole debate about the origin of birds from dinosaurs through his discovery of dinosaurs with feathers. So we know that the bird wants to fly, it wants to shoot its wings, so how to connect the feathers and the feathers and the feathers, we call it how to connect the feathers, is very important. If you look at the feathers and the feathers, you can see that the bird's feathers and the feathers are not going to fly, or going to shoot, or going to shoot. 就不太一样, We're definitely living through a boom in dinosaur studies at the moment, and some people have called it a golden age or a renaissance, and it's certainly that. We've got more people working on dinosaurs around the world than we've ever had before, finding more new specimens and using new techniques to really understand them in detail. So I think this knowledge of the creator can be from the world. When we do this, we need to create all these knowledge. Because the knowledge of the creator is the most important for the human being. We have created a human being.